Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Division video and another video from E3. So I have just got back from the Ubisoft lounge and I got a chance to go hands on with the new 1.3 underground update that'll be dropping this month, June the 28th, if you're on Xbox One and PC and of course August 2nd if you're on PS4. Now there's a load of cool things we got a chance to test out. We got to try out some new gear sets, some new weapons and of course these underground kind of encounters or sort of dungeons as well. And this is what I'm going to be showing you guys in this gameplay. Basically the way that it works is that you start in this underground base, so this under kind of underground operation so to speak. This is effectively a new social space. Think of it like safe houses in the open world. You can actually see other players here and of course you can invite them from there. And then once you're partied up, your party leader then goes over to this desk right here and you can basically customize the experience that you're about to go into. So the way that it works is as follows. Underground, if you saw the trailer, it might have been a little bit misleading because there was this mention of these randomly generated dungeons and that's not exactly how it works they are randomly generated but they don't go on forever people were thinking they would be like Diablo rifts and you can kind of keep going and they get progressively harder and you can basically just go as long as you can go until you die that's not actually how it works basically what happens is you go to this desk and you can select a phase and then once you choose a phase you can apply a load of different modifiers and these will of course increase the difficulty and the more difficult you make it the better the rewards you can do a total of three phases back to back each of which will take you into a new randomly generated underground area and then once you complete the first phase you'll of course go on to the second and then of course on to the third there's no actual bonus for doing three of them back to back it's purely a speed thing so if you just want to go in and do three rounds like that you can of course do that but if you just want to do one phase and you know jump in get your loot and come out that is also an option now for when you're actually creating these you can of course do them on normal mode hard mode challenge mode and the new heroic mode now during this demo we actually did this on hard mode simply because that is what our gear was tuned for but of course the higher difficulties will yield better results and of course that does eventually lead to gear set pieces and of course much higher tier weapons and there will of course be a raise in power level in the new update as well so of course you can get weapons that are above 204 and you can get gear set pieces that are above 240. Now there's a lot more stuff to talk about but for the time being I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay. In this I'm playing alongside 269 and also Skill Up. We actually got to team up together which was really really cool. We ran through this whole thing so I will be following up over the coming days with some more in detail breakdowns about various different aspects of the update so do make sure you stay tuned for that. But for the time being let me know what you guys think about the update down below. Let me know what you kind of think about the concept of undergrounds and everything like that. And of course if you guys did enjoy this don't forget to drop a like and stay tuned for much more from E3. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.
hostiles detected nearby.
now detecting hostiles. Warning. Readings indicate this area is contaminated.
exiting the contaminated area.